We're in the Hyde, Dublin are in the All-Ireland final. I'm joined by one of the goal scorers. Nicole Owens, technically you could say that you set the train in motion here this afternoon. Oh, I think we kind of, our, our main focus is obviously to come out of the hatches flying and I think the, the whole team bought an incredible tempo and we really went at them. Um, and yeah, it's, obviously, it's always nice to score a goal. Like, so, you know, I was happy with, happy with the finish. But uh, yeah, it was a good start to the match. Both sides always say, obviously, we want to get a good start. One side can only get the good start. So how did you nullify Galway's threat straight away? Um, well, I think we were, I suppose, going into any match, we were aware that we we would bring the work rate and the tempo to the match. Um, so I think going in, we were determined to hunt them down and make, I suppose, for us forwards, it was to make life as hard for Galway coming out so that our backs had an easier job. Um, and I think we did that really well in the first half. Would I be right in saying that uh, ladies football is getting stronger physically? Because watching this semi-final and the semi-final beforehand, there was a lot of hits, yeah. a lot of things that I know if that was a few years ago, people would have been sprawled on the sideline. But today it didn't seem to matter as much, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I think Seamus is great in that uh, he's a ref that, that lets, like, lets a bit go and lets a bit of physicality go, which, which is great because at the end of the day, we've all been in you know, the gym for the last 10 months. You know, we're, we're all strong women and there's no reason that like, someone can't take a bump. Like, you know, like I ran into Nicola Ward and the two of us bounced off each other and continued on. Like, you know, so, you know, all that works. Yeah, we put in all that work for a reason. It's, it's not to, to look good or fill out a jersey. So, no, I think it's great that it is getting a bit more physical. Now, obviously, we're here in the high, but we're going to have an All-Ireland final to look forward to in Cork Park against Cork. It's just, it's funny how the wheel keeps turning, but it keeps coming back the same. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, I suppose, Cork are, have been at the, the pinnacle of the game for years and years, um, and we have driven ourselves into a place where, where we're up there, and obviously last year um, we won. So, at the end of the day, we, we firmly believe that the best two teams make the final and you know we consider ourselves the top team in the country and we, we you know we're determined to um, defend last year. Joined by one of the stalwarts of the Dublin defence, Sinead Goldrick, you guys did really well. Um, yeah we were really happy with our performance, we know that go away have really strong forwards and I think one of our focuses was just the tackle count and putting pressure on them and I think we succeeded and um, with that you know and um, they got one goal, one ch goal chance and they converted so it shows that if you give them any chances that they do convert. What was the difference between the Galway and Dublin that we saw if just a few months ago when Galway had just pinned your collar, they beat you and then there was another game where you nearly were beaten again. What was different this time? You know, I think you have to learn um, from your mistakes and I think that, you know, in the semi-final um, from the league when we got through, like we were lucky to get through to the league final, I think we took a lot from it. Um, Galway have so many good players and I think this year you know they had all the players back really good setup and management um, and we knew it was going to be a really tough challenge today I think from the very start we just worked really hard and that's what kind of gets you over the line I think. You mentioned the tackle count um, some of those tackles were ferocious like you women worked hard. Yeah I think so I think that's one of the things we want to try and is just you know work great um, and that gets you over the line doing the simple things well you know I think that our forwards just they work together and it really makes a difference that when we get the ball fast into them. That said you guys were on top but somehow Galway still managed to claw back a few scores at the end was that because perhaps at that point your minds had zoned out of it or were you just gotten tired? I think from when we lost from Cork those years ago nine points up we we you know we you know, we always have to keep going to the very end so I don't think that was it at all you know I think Galway are a really good team and you know they kept fair play to them they kept going at it and at it and um, you know they, they went to the very end. Another final against Cork awaits. Yeah, it's just brilliant to get to Crow Park. And I think that for anyone watching, to bring your sons and daughters to it, and even anyone who has an interest in football, it's like a brilliant game. And um, we'd love to have a massive turnout uh, for Dublin uh, at Crow Park. So it will be good, yeah.